the GE bug isn't fixed, but we have a solution. Ever since amount traded data was added to the Grand Exchange, we have seen a massive bug. It has been falling back on what it considers to be known good quantity traded data every 24 hours. However, this data is false and essentially relapses on itself every 24 hours, as we saw demonstrated in my previous video. What this means is there has been no accurate way to capture amount traded data for items in RuneScape 3. Merchants and those individuals interested in the game economy have been forced to rely entirely on external price checking tools like Flipaholics.pro to try and assess if an item is moving quickly or not using more of a anecdotal assessment or by talking to their other merchant friends in order to determine if an item is a good buy or not. This has had a negative impact on the game economy as merchants have been less informed. I also believe that this has caused volatility as a result of panic and confusion led primarily by players who are perhaps less informed or less educated about the market. And as such, it is very important to me that this topic gets addressed and we have an accurate source of data. Ever since my first video, I went on the offensive to try and raise awareness across the community and internally at Jagex HQ regarding this issue. I have spoken to many individuals, all of whom have remained strictly off the record in a journalistic capacity regarding this issue, and unfortunately I cannot quote them on this video. With the help of our friends at the RuneScape Wiki, we are now able to access amount traded data through a newly made available API stream that the Wiki team is piping into its GE data. But wait, to better understand the solution, we need to take a minute and look at the Wiki and understand the connection that they've set up in partnership with Jagex. Back when Fresh Start Worlds first released, the Wiki worked with the Jagex team to establish a special backend API connection to the Grand Exchange for the Wiki's use. That connection powers the Grand Exchange Market Watch, which allows us, whenever we visit runescape.wiki, to see up-to-date prices. Every 6 to 44 hours, depending on how actively traded an item is, the RuneScape Wiki receives a price update from Jagex, and this is a separate stream of data from the data that fuels the official Grand Exchange website on runescape.com. However, this data is still accurate and reflective of what is seen in game on the Grand Exchange when you search an item. It's essentially another version of the official Grand Exchange website's data, just exclusively made available for the wiki. If you haven't already, I highly recommend you check out the official RS Wiki Patreon. If you use either the RuneScape 3 wiki or the old school RuneScape wiki, it just makes a lot of sense to be supporting them. There are a lot of costs, both seen and unseen, that go into supporting the wiki on a monthly basis, and the majority of wiki staff are volunteers that work for nothing. If you play the game at all and use the wiki on a regular basis, consider supporting them for as little as $2 a month. I had the pleasure of speaking with Gaz and Cook over at the wiki, both of whom have been working on wiki tech for well over a decade. Gaz has been with the wiki for over 15 years and Cook for over 14. Both of them are experts when it comes to the wiki and as well they're responsible for the majority of the technical work that goes into supporting the Grand Exchange Market Watch. Prior to this video, I went back and forth with them to confirm the validity of the wiki's amount traded data. And after these fixes were implemented, I am proud to say that the wiki is now the single most reliable source of Grand Exchange data 
coming from the official Grand Exchange. This does not mean the wiki is a replacement for price checking tools like Flipaholics.pro. Those still provide a level of uh, refined or analytical data, which you will not find coming out of the official Grand Exchange, since price updates are only delivered every 6 to 44 hours, depending on the item, and those updates do not reflect how many trades were performed at what price points in that period of time. However, the wiki will now accurately deliver, and has been accurately delivering for some time, uh, the median price for items, as well as now the accurate amount traded, or volume data for items in game. Using the wiki in combination with other tools that we have at our disposal, we are able to better understand the game's economy and be better merchants or more educated players. So now let's dive into the wiki's data and try and understand how we can view it, manipulate it, and my hope is that you will walk away from this video with a better understanding of the game's economy and a better understanding of what resources you can refer to and trust. This ad will only take 15 seconds, I promise. If you want to support a really small independent creator like me, check out my merch. We have shirts, dust mats, and more. Link in the description. Otherwise, please like and subscribe. Back to the video. To access the wiki's GE data, we start by going to runescape.wiki and then typing in the name of the item we want to look up to visit its page. Once we've accessed the page on the wiki for the item we want to look up, we're going to go to the right-hand side and inside of this info box, select Enlarge Chart at the very bottom under the Grand Exchange module. Enlarge Chart is going to load a preview of the Grand Exchange Market Watch, which, as we touched on before, is an entire engine the wiki has built to connect with Jagex's API and pull data from the game directly. Now, this chart is going to pull data whenever Jagex pushes a price update to the wiki. So as we can see for the Black Party hat, when it came out on the 4th of December, most recently, we had 201 Black Party hats being traded over the Grand Exchange. On the 5th of December, 58 were being traded back and forth over the Grand Exchange. On the 6th, 28 were being traded back and forth. Down here at the bottom, this daily volume chart is receiving a amount traded number every time the wiki also receives a median price update. Now, in order to filter and manipulate this data, we're able to go to, say, an older item as, as a better example. We'll go over to Blue Party Hat. Jagex initially began recording amount traded or daily volume data on the 30th of June in 2023. However, it was only this last week when they actually began pushing this data to the RuneScape wiki. And fortunately, this data is free of the corruption and website issues that we see on the official Grand Exchange website, which I believe are unlikely to be resolved anytime soon. Here, we're also able to zoom in on each month and actually essentially manipulate this data in a more refined or intentional way than the official Grand Exchange website lets us. Now, I do believe that through using the tools that we have available on the wiki to look up various items, say the Santa hat, we're able to more accurately get a picture for the daily amount of items that come and go across the Grand Exchange. For example, Santa hats are trading 171 back and forth across the Grand Exchange. Now, bear in mind, if one Santa hat is sold, to someone, and then that person flips it again that same day. And this occurs inside of the time frame that the wiki does not receive a median price update from Jagex that will count as two transactions, or it will add plus two to the daily volume count. A very common misconception or a pitfall that I want to warn you of is that this is limited by how often the wiki receives updates from Jagex. When you read that there were 47 transactions 
on the 2nd of December, that does not necessarily mean that there were 47 transactions on that day, unless the wiki received a median price update the day before and the day after. In this case, they did, which likely implies that this was the total amount traded back and forth across the Grand Exchange in that day. But if we look at lower volume items, like say, for example, Second Age, which is a very low volume item in my experience, we see there were 153 of them traded on the 30th of November. Now, this is not true, but what I believe happened is that the wiki simply did not receive an update to the median price for however many days previously, and then finally they received an update that confirmed the median price is still 197 million-ish, at which point all of the previous volume or all of the previous transactions were reported to say, okay, there were 153 of these swords sold since the last median price update we received. Currently, the wiki does not have a way of showing when they received their last median price update through the API, so it does take a degree of game knowledge or item pricing knowledge to be able to determine based on the quantity data if that is a realistic volume for a given day. I would also encourage you to look at the day before and day after. If you see daily volumes of one or daily volumes of two, know that it's possible one or two might not be selling back and forth. If the median price is maintaining the same price over very extended periods of time, it's very possible that nothing was selling, that this item was staying at its current price because there were no transactions taking place. And as such, the volume data will not report until the wiki gets an update from the Grand Exchange that says, okay, we are reconfirming the price is still at this, or maybe it's changed a little bit. This is a quirk to the system. It's important to be aware of. It could lead to misconceptions or false concerns among players regarding volume if there is a sudden spike. It might not be a dump. It could just be that the API received an update for the first time in a great deal on an item that has little to no volume. And with that in mind, educated players like yourself are able to better look at these charts and understand, okay, this volume data looks accurate given how often this item is traded based on my experience, based on my friend's experience, based on what I can see on other price checking tools. It looks like it's commonly traded. Oh, it doesn't look like it's commonly traded. You can use your common sense when it comes to analyzing these charts. Do not take these charts as 100% accurate unless the item is regularly traded and the wiki is likely to receive those price updates at least once every 24 hours, in which case it's receiving a daily volume update once a day, and it is likely to be accurate. However, in cases like this, where the item is not traded on a regular basis, they're only going to receive a daily volume update, which will have accumulated a total amount going back potentially many months, when they finally receive a median price update. The two are interlinked as the API will not push data to the wiki containing both a median price update and a daily volume update unless there have been enough transactions to justify reconfirming an existing median price or updating a median price, at which point both of these points of data are pushed to the wiki. I hope that this video has been informative and that you've learned a great deal more about how volume data is tracked in the Grand Exchange. The interworkings of these systems are much more complex and detailed than I initially thought they were when I jumped into this project, and it's taken 
many hours, we'll just say, to actually understand just how much, uh, how much work the wiki team puts into maintaining this project and how much work Jagex uh, puts into the Grand Exchange as well. Um, I would like to thank everyone who's helped me uh, with putting this video together. You know who you are. Um, I, I wish I could name more names than I can in this project, um, but thank you especially Cook and Gaz for taking time to answer my questions and be a wonderful resource and representation of the wiki. And thank you viewers for taking the time to support me in this, uh, in this quest to you know, uncover the 2023 Grand Exchange volume data bug and push for a solution so that we can better understand how many items are being traded in our game. I would love to see real-time data being pushed to the, both third parties and available on the first party website if Jagex could ever dedicate the resources and time to make that a reality. I know on a recent Reddit post where a price checking site that I will not name was called out for reporting black party hats before they had even released, uh, Mod Doom commented saying that it's just another reason to, for him to push internally for better GE resources. And, you know, I think this Grand Exchange bug is also another reason for them to push for better resources internally uh, for the players. So please, you know, if you're watching this, Jagex, consider updating the Grand Exchange on RuneScape 3 to be a little more like old school RuneScapes and uh, just a little more usable for those of us that really care about your game's economy and Honestly, you probably treat it a little bit too much like Wall Street bets sometimes. Now that I'm finally done with all of this research and all of this editing, I think I can finally take a well-earned break. Another bot farm report just came into my DMs.